Hello guys, this is Vinod from Mind Magics, and I welcome you all to this special session in which our trainer will explain everything you need to know about the Alteryx. Before beginning the session, we request you to watch the previous parts of the covered series. Check the link in the caption. In this video, let us look at the topics we will cover. We shall start with Detour and continue with Lookup function append. Please check the caption to jump between the topics. If you are new to the Mind Magics channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get quick updates about the new tech tutorials, free webinars, and career-enhancing shorts from working professionals. Like and share the video with your friends and Alteryx career aspirants. Without any further delay, let's start the video. In this video, we're going to work on the D2 tools and the VLOOKUP operation. How we can do the VLOOKUP simulation in Alteryx. So, let me just find the developer tab. So, yeah, we got the developer tab over here. We will work on the D2 example. So, as the name suggests, the D2 is basically detouring. What, what do we mean by detouring? I will show you. Have a look at the description of this tool. This tool bypass a set of tools must end in output or detour and tool generally used for authoring or analytical app and map. So first of all, this concept is belonging to the comments. So the first comment is detour. It must end in the detour and or output. Okay. Second, it will be used in parallel with macro okay public analytical app okay let me just explain it so what does these two three uh, two things mean let's read this input okay we have record id the points x1 y1 x2 y3 we have this okay now let's suppose i want i do not want to take this example i am creating my example and I am having the person wise age. Okay. The person wise age, there is input tool. This might take some time, so you have to stay with me for this. I am dragging a text input from here. I am dragging a text input from here. What is not getting dragged? Okay. I drag. Let's suppose I am, you know, my age is. Okay, and the age column. This is the name, and this is the age column. Okay, 26, 20, 45, 32, 16, and let's suppose Oxshire, we have 70. Okay, and now we are creating an app for checking the valid driving age. App for checking the valid driving age. Okay, this is. Let me just specify it for once. Background. Is it background or is it from background? No, it is text color. Okay, the text color should be white only. The background color should be this. And my text size should be a little, a little small. I am seeing that my text size should be equal to 15 or something like this. I am seeing 15. So I get out of this and this is an app for checking the valid driving range. Now in an app, we need an interface tool. So I am just doing one question. I am using a checkbox and checkbox is kind of question. It is asking you enter the text of question to be displayed. I am saying are you over 18? Yeah. Okay. This checkbox is selected. I want to perform some operation. If it is not selected, I want to perform some different operation. So I want to just perform the different set of tools using the or uh, depending upon the checkbox is being selected or not. So I will make use of D2. What I will do, I will connect this tool. So my input to this tool is sorry, my input to this tool is my input data only. And have a look at this. When we just connect this magnifier to this striking angle, striking arrow, we got this. This action had not. Uh, 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 okay. So 
I am saying that select an action type update due to action from question before. So it is saying that if I am working with a question that I use in this checkbox, if I selected then detour it to the left or maybe detour it to the right, right? I will configure it, but detour it anyhow. Okay. I am saying that if I select this workbox, I am by default detouring to left, but if this is selected, just detour to right and I will write these two formula and one more formula and the detour and I will explain you what's happening. That's a general kind of flow that is being followed by using the what should I say detour start and detour end. So what I am saying that if my age is greater than 16 then I will create a new column add a column valid for driving okay if age greater than 18 then can drive and okay if age greater than 18 then can drive okay and of else not drive and of f so this is a general expression i am saying ki age greater than 18 you can drive else not the same expression can be typed over here but watch the catch not drive okay i want to create the two different column one drive and one not drive okay so what i am saying that boss else condition should be null over here and here Lesson plus 18 can drive less than 18 can drive greater than equals to 18 can drive. These are these are the two directions of the workflow and they just end it into a detour end. So what does detour end do, does? It just combine your both output, the workflow or the output of both the streams, the right stream and the left stream. L means left stream, R means right stream. This just combine your stream and give you the some consolidated output. So I will say browser, browse tool. I will use browse tool and just try to execute this workflow once. I will. I am saying, are you over 18? Yes, finish. Let me just check if there is error or not. Okay, we are not having any output file because we have not specified. I will use control all D, the interface designer. I will do the setting. I am saying that open this file when i am successfully executed the workflow and i have successfully executed the workflow just show me this file and when we have executed the workflow okay okay i have not done the app are you over 18 i said yes finish oh you can see there is one thing the drive and not drive point okay so what have a look at this this is the output column that has been generated. The not drive column has been generated. And why I am saying, I am just telling you why. Okay. The default direction for this was, the default direction for this was D2 to the right, D2 to the right. Okay. Have a look at the description. I just told you the reverse. If I check this, it will go to right. If I doesn't check this, it will go to right. Next. So if I just, Deselect it and let's have a look at this. What should happen? This action should do what? Okay, we just reversed. So this should have been something like this. I can execute R over 18. Yes, I selected. So that is an I. I guess this is generated a wrong column. You have to have to have the left as the false and the right as the correct. Okay. So we can just reverse the direction and we got to know that we uh, we can update the direction of the detour using the interface tools okay now the next question arises is how we can do the vlookup and append operation in all which so i'll just say that first allow me one second right d2 okay now i want to do the vlookup operation in all tricks. so to do the VLOOKUP operation, we just need two data sets. The first data set will contain the record. The second data set will contain the lookup values and we will look up the values in our primary data source. I'll explain you in a bit of 
in, in a bit. So let's suppose we have two data sets. A data set one is the normal set data set that contain a sales number. Data two, data set two is the data set that contain the lookup value of the sales representative. Allow me just 10 15 seconds, guys. Uh, have a look at this. Okay. We have this data with us first name, last name, contact name, uh, the first name and last name. Okay. And we have first name and last name column over here also. Let me just try to explain you through the snapshot. The first thing to remember while we are using the VLOOKUP function is that the value should be mutually exclusive. Here you can see if I VLOOKUP on the basis of first name only, then we have two Angelina. I don't know which Angelina is matching correct over here. So first we need to do, we need to find our correct field, the unique identifier. So we can combine first name and last name. Okay. We can combine the first name and the last name. The second requirement is that we have to have the data sorted in our primary input. We have to have the data sorted in our primary input. So this data should be sorted. Okay. So we sorted this data. We have this data set also. Like we can use VLOOKUP function over here in Excel. We can do the same thing using the find and replace. Okay. We can do the same thing using the find and replace. Let me just explain you how. Let me open an example of find and replace. Try to explain this work too. So we have this first data set that contains the transaction ID date, account holder amount. Okay. The second thing is this the word and replacement. The word and replacement. Now what we are doing. We are re looking up the word and just doing the replacement. Now, this find replace is used in many a way. There is a specific use case where we can do the V lookup operation. So, I have a look at this. Find the beginning of a field, any part of the field, and entire field. We will say entire field. Okay, that's how V lookup will work. We will see if we will find the entire field. The, uh, the entire field name is word over here. So let's hypothetically assume this word is 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 okay. Let's suppose we have only one data. I have to delete this those those and I again check in this. Okay, Pranav has to be replaced by Pranav. Good. The second thing is here we need to have the account holder name. So let's suppose I just gave my name will be Pranav. First, you have to sort the data. You have to use a sort icon and you will sort by the name ascending. Control R. Okay. So when you are using find and replace and you are just finding entire field. So what I'm doing, I am finding the Pranav word inside the account holder name. The moment I got, got Pranav in my primary data source, that is account holder name, I will replace it with my full word, that is a replacement. So this is what, what is happening. In VLOOKUP also what we do, we vertically look up our, our value in the primary data source and then just replace it by some value in the VLOOKUP. So that's how we are doing it. Let's just, let us just go to the example data set now. There is one more way to perform a VLOOKUP operation. We can simply join the tool. Okay, we can just simply join the tool on the basis of the matching field and we can get the necessary field from our secondary data set. Okay, so you can go to this article and have a look at how Altrix VLOOKUP works. You just need to do what, what you need to type Altrix VLOOKUP. So the first link you are getting, the very first link you are getting, just open it and try to replicate this. Okay, try to replicate this. 
Now let us go to our indexes and let us see what else is left for the day. So we have completed this today. Day two, we have completed. We have completed VLOOKUP. Now we are left with the append, basic VLOOKUP and append also. Now here, how I'll look at this option. The append is of two types. You can append the record like this, okay? You can append the record like this. I will tell you uh, 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 replacement and I execute this. So this append is a little different from the append operation that I have done. I have just appended our replacement text. But when we use the append operation, it just appends all of the records against all of the records, not selective append is here. Okay. I'll show you what is the difference between this. I told you that append is example. Let's come to example first. You can have a look at this. Control R. The source is this and the target is. So you can append only with like the report number of records will be duplicated. It's just like duplicating the record. But this append is different. It just first do we look up and then append. It is not just appending randomly. Okay. It is not just appending randomly. It is first doing the matching and then appending. So this is the basic difference between both of this. 